my warm greetings, dear colleagues, conference participants and guests. I'm Antonina Dubrivna, PhD in Art Studies, Associate Professor in the Department of Drawing and Painting in the Kyiv National University of Technology and Design. In this report, I would like to present to your attention my point of view and share my experience of online teaching in the design education system during at the time of pandemic and quarantine. Humanity, for the first time in the history of the development of civilization, are faced with such a largely global problem as the pandemic, when the coronavirus has spread to every continent. It is clearly seen that the situation has greatly changed the economic and social cultural picture of the world. As a university teacher, I was faced with new challenges. To the lockdown, I had to change the methods and technologies of my work. It was an incredible challenge that required a lot of effort and concentration in my professional and personal qualities. I want to draw your attention to important aspects of organizing the student learn process in the design education system, informs management tools and the teacher's role as the main organizer and controller of the educational process. In my opinion, it is advisable to highlight several important tasks that need to be solved for effective distance learning. These are communication, creating materials for training, publication of materials for training, online session, monitoring of the education process, and of course collaboration. The main task in online teaching is to set up um, a personal communication with students. Communication is important not only through the heat of the group, but personal contact with each student is very important. This can be done, for example, via mail or make a chat on social networks, mother educational platform as we have in my university or in some messenger and make it so that every student has access there. Visualization is very important for any educational material and especially for discipline related to visual arts and design. Today, there is a whole arsenal of digital tools and technologies in order to visualize educational material. And uh, the task of the modern instructor is to know it and use it effectively. Instructors, especially in the field of visual arts and design, have a lot of demo material that show I know that according by observations, it is much more effective to split a lecture into small videos and in the intervals between them to do a survey in order to control knowledge and memorization. Very required internet platform for publishing educational materials and my third social internet platform is YouTube, where I created a channel. There I made short videos that clearly explain how to solve various visual problems, demonstrate the peculiarities of working with different artistic techniques. I came up with the idea to record educational videos after realizing that repeating the same material is ineffective. After all, the time I spent on it can be used more effectively to develop new courses and teaching methods. Having access to such an educational video, a students or any YouTube users can refer to it again and again at any time, according to their needs. I think this is an excellent self-study opportunity. This social network is very popular and is actively used by students and users of all ages. You can put the video uh, publicly or you can make the link available only for course participants. The online uh, broadcasting 
is a joint work with a student. This is not uh, a one-sided monologue, so it's important to take care of the sound quality during the session. What is important is demonstration of material and the voice of the teacher who comments on this educational material. The most important thing to remember is that no matter how we organize the work, the main thing is that it is um, convenient for the students uh, to receive an educational product. Also, it is very important to clearly think over the content of the online session and be flexible and manage the entire educational process. Monitoring of training is very important in online teaching. There are not final control or intermediate certification, but constant fixation of the level of knowledge of students as well as their involvement in the learning process. How to do it? There is only one way to ask uh, the student questions. The forms of control can be different. This is both the student's self-assessment and the student's assessment of each other. The hardest part of online learning is collaboration and comes with technical and organizational challenges. Joint work can proceed according to the plan. The first point is project development. The second point is collection, analysis, evaluation of information. Third, Part is scientific research and uh, fourth is uh, solving problems. In many reality, educational is the product of uh, conception of a large number of users. A modern structure needs to be a highly educated mentor in the ocean of a wide variety of, of information, aid to understand its quality and so I can quickly obtain to students the necessary information products for their development. I'm so happy to be part of this great scientific community now. Thanks for your attention. Bye.